Hi, God bless you. I am so glad that you're able to be connected for Breakthrough Time. I know that you have been enjoying that moment of just being able to worship God. You know, we can't be all together at the same place, but we can all be united in spirit, worshiping God no matter where we are at. So today I want to speak to you on the topic, Treasures in Heaven. So I want to tell Take you to Matthew chapter 6 and let's read verse 19 and 20. It says, Do not lay up for yourselves treasures on earth, where mud and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither mud nor rust destroys and where thieves do not break in and steal. Now I want you to understand what is it that the Bible is trying to say here. We see that Jesus is challenging us here to be able to store up treasures in heaven. You know, there's this anecdote that I heard one time there was this Christian that died and he went to heaven and when he arrived in heaven he was greeted by an angel and the angel greeted him welcomed him and told him just wait a moment I need to go and speak with Jesus and see what I need to do next with you so he told him wait here and the man was there and he was looking around and he saw the huge beautiful mansions and and the streets of gold and he began to contemplate everything but the angel came back and told him okay follow me and they began to go down this street and the anecdote says that when they arrived at the end as they were going he noticed that the that the houses the mansions began to get smaller and smaller but the anecdote continues and it says that as this man reached to the end we see that there's this uh, the angel tells him okay so we have arrived and when the man looks it is a tiny rustic broken down house and the man says there has to be a mistake this cannot be the house or the mansion that I was looking forward to and the angel told him well with everything that you sent us this was all that we were able to build now what is the entire point of all of this it is that many times we seek to build treasures on earth that we forget to store up treasures in heaven now the question is what is our treasure what is it that we are treasuring in this moment let's go to let's go to verse 21 Matthew 6 21 it says for where your treasure is listen here for where your treasure is dear your heart will be also now it is important that you understand that wherever your treasure is dear will your heart be also what is it that you're treasuring what is it that you're given a great value you know a treasure treasure speaks of value what is it that you are valuing in your life what is it that you are given importance to in your life is it being able to seek God is it being able to sow into the kingdom of God what is it that you are valuing in this time because the Bible says that wherever your treasure is dear will your heart be also in this season I want to challenge you to be able to begin to treasure the presence of God to begin to be able to say God I treasure your presence I treasure your word I treasure spending time with you I want to sow into your kingdom I want to I, I want to serve you you see all of that is us of being able to store treasures in heaven wherever your treasure is dear will your heart be also if you treasure the presence of God dear will your heart be also you know the Bible says that out of all the 12 tribes of Israel there was only one tribe the tribe of Levi who did not receive 
receive an inheritance. Now, it doesn't mean they didn't re but receive something, uh, an inheritance, but they did not receive something tangible. Their inheritance, the Bible says, was the Lord. The Lord was their inheritance. Now, notice here, it meant that they, they stored a treasure. They had a treasure that was far greater than all of the treasures and it was God himself. It was his presence. The Bible also speaks about the pearl with great price. You know, the man that had many pearls sold it all to buy this one pearl of great price. Now the question is, are you willing to give it all for Jesus? Are you willing to say, hey, you know, more than anything that could bring me pleasure, I want the presence of God. More than anything that could excite me, that, that could give me what I want, I want the presence of God. So today I want to challenge you to store treasures in heaven. Now it's important that you understand God desires that you bless, be blessed in all things, even on earth. But it is important that we live life in light of eternity. That whatever we do on earth be something that is causing an effect in eternity in heaven. So it is important that we be able to store up treasures in heaven because wherever your treasure is, dear will your heart be also. So right here where you are before we continue with a time of worship, why don't you close your eyes and I want to be able to pray with you. Father, I just thank you Lord for every person that is connected right now, for every person that is listening to this devotional in Breakthrough Time. I ask you Father that you be able to speak to them, that Lord, you be able to teach us how to store up treasures in heaven and to live life in eternity. If, with eternity in mind, I ask you, Father, that you be able to teach us to treasure your presence above all. Because we know, Lord, that wherever our treasure is, dear will our heart be also. Help us. Give us the grace, Lord, to have the right treasures, godly treasures, treasures that are aligned to your heart and your will. Thank you, Father, because I know that you are aligning everyone's heart in this moment to your will. In the name of Jesus Christ, amen, amen. So thank you Join me right now in being able to worship God and let's just enjoy His presence. Thank you. 